Good evening and welcome to the 15th Annual Architect and Designer Awards. I'm Veronica Theodoro, Editor-in-Chief of Design STL. Every year at this time, we wait in anticipation for the winning projects to be revealed. And this year's winners have shown us the depths of design talent in St. Louis. I want to thank all of our sponsors, including our presenting sponsor, the Interior Design Center, our Visionary Award sponsor, Metro Lighting, and our supporting sponsors, Roth Living Showroom, Sherwin-Williams, C. Bennett Premium Building Supplies, and LK2 Kime Kisner Studio. The event wouldn't be possible without your support. And now I'd like to introduce Kevin Kenny of the Interior Design Center to say a few words. Greetings from the TPC Scottsdale, home of the Phoenix Open. So I wanted to thank you for attending the Design STL Awards today. And on behalf of everyone at the Interior Design Center of St. Louis, Otco Home, Walbrandt Technologies, Premier Plumbing Studio, Working Spaces, Floor Source, Amy Studebaker Designs, Kelly Johnson Designs, Yours by Design, JCR Design Group, and Kim Taylor Designs. We thank you for all of your business. And I'm out here scouting locations for next year's awards banquet on behalf of St. Louis Magazine. I think I found the perfect place. Thank you for coming and have a good time this evening. Congratulations to all the nominees. One of the most gratifying moments during the awards ceremony is when I get to announce the Visionary Award, which we established five years ago to shine a light on a member of our community whose work and leadership we respect and admire. It's my honor to introduce Amelia Bond as this year's recipient of the award. For the past 40 years, Amelia has dedicated her many talents to making St. Louis a better place to live for all. As the president and CEO of the St. Louis Community Foundation since 2011, she's helped increase donor grants to nonprofits nearly sixfold, from 20 million to 117 million in 2021. Of those giving dollars, more than 80% remain in the St. Louis area. During the past two years, at a time when our community has been especially challenged, Amelia and the Community Foundation created the COVID-19 Regional Response Fund, rallying corporations and foundations to provide assistance to vulnerable residents affected by business disruptions. In addition, through the establishment of the Gateway Resilience Fund, the foundation has lent its support to this donor-inspired effort to provide financial relief to small business employees who lost their jobs as a result of the shutdown. Amelia and her team work behind the scenes in neighborhoods across St. Louis. Connect STL is an effort to study the digital divide in our area and make recommendations on how to bridge it. The Bridgeton Fund was established to support initiatives that contribute to the betterment of the environment, health, and safety of the Bridgeton community. And Give STL Day is a 24-hour day of online giving specifically geared for the region's nonprofits. Thank you, Amelia, for all you do, and congratulations. Now I'd like to ask our visionary award sponsor, Bill Frizzella of Metro Lighting, to say a few words. Thank you, Veronica. Metro Lighting is so excited and proud to be the Visionary Award Sponsor for the 2022 Architect and Designer Award Ceremony. What a great way to celebrate the local design community and Design St. Louis. We'd like to give a huge congratulations, a round of applause to Amelia Bond for being this year's Visionary Honoree. We thank her for all she does for St. Louis. You are totally awesome. Thank you, Amelia. I want to thank everyone at Design STL and St. Louis Magazine for this honor. Representing the St. Louis Community Foundation and its donors continues to be a personal commitment of mine because St. Louis has been so generous to me and my family. It's home. The driver of the Community Foundation's success is our donors. 
their commitment to St. Louis, its institutions, and our regional nonprofits is remarkable. All of our donors have a desire to give back to our community and pursue their charitable giving goals with passion, creativity, intention, and purpose. At the St. Louis Community Foundation, along with all of my colleagues, we are proud to work shoulder to shoulder with them to support their giving efforts. Today, philanthropy has never been more important. Over the last three decades, corporate mergers and reduced government spending have added complexity when it comes to funding worthwhile local initiatives. Filling this void at an increasing rate is charitable giving. However, for the long-term health of the region, I believe we must adjust our thinking. We must look beyond annual fundraising cycles. We also have to have more strategic and integrated approach to regional philanthropy. I believe we must endow the St. Louis region. There is no question we are an incredibly generous community. Studies tell us this year after year. Imagine what we could accomplish if we set aside a small portion of our charitable giving dollars with the objective of securing the region's future. A strong community endowment could be used to quickly address community emergency like COVID or solve a challenge like the digital divide. It could fund projects like the next St. Louis Danforth Plant Science Center, Cortex, or even Neighborhood Reinvestment Program. Creating a community endowment would strengthen our region for decades to come. Just think about the possibilities. Instead of figuring out how to fund initiatives and important efforts, we could step right up and leverage them quickly. Finally, as I gratefully accept the Visionary Award on behalf of the St. Louis Community Foundation and its donors, I encourage each of you to be visionaries in your own right. Through your charitable giving, be stewards of the legacy we will leave to the St. Louisans of the future. Join us as we work for a more vibrant, equitable, and generous community today, tomorrow, and for many years to come. Thank you again for this award and for your time today. Before we get started, I wanna take a moment to acknowledge this year's judges who reviewed more than 250 submissions in 30 categories. Thank you to Courtney Bishop, Andres Blanco, Tammy Connor, Katie Ritter, and Carly Summers. And finally, Please stay tuned to the conclusion of the event and see the unveiling of the March-April cover. In the category of apartment living, Jenny Rapp, JCR Design Group. Kathleen Matthews, Marsha Moore Design. Justin Main and Michael Wyrock, Niston House Design. And the winner is Justin Main and Michael Wyrock, Niston House Design. Copper tones, geometric patterns, and varied textures meet in this city residence redesigned as a live workspace. The addition of cabinetry and storage space maximizes its potential. The result? A union of historic architecture and eclectic design. In the category of children's room, Ashley Wilman Obradovitz, Carbic Kitchen and Bath. Rebecca Moore Murphy, Rebecca Murphy Interiors.
Megan Temple, Megan Temple Design, Schroten Company Architects, Planners, Interiors. And the winner is Rebecca Murphy Interiors. Situated in the sunroom of an historic home, this elegant nursery features soft muted tones, brass finishes, and playful touches. Neutral elements like the natural woven rug and ivory linen draperies add to the room's refined look. In the category of commercial hotel space, Oculus Incorporated, Steve Smith, Galen Vassar, and Tom Lecametros, Lawrence Group. Dina Lamana and Catherine Yatrakis, HOK. And the winner is Dina Lamana and Catherine Yatrakis, HOK. The 17-story La Meridian Hotel in Clayton boasts a new upscale design that includes exterior and interior renovations. Refreshing pops of cool blues and warm reds are visible throughout the hotel, which pays homage to St. Louis's French influence. In the category of commercial restaurant space, Kevin Brennan, Martin Goble, Goble Furniture. Steve Williamson, Oculus Incorporated. V3 Studios. And the winner is Kevin Brennan, Martin Goble, Goble Furniture. The long awaited renovation of Brennan's in the Central West End was worth the wait. 30 feet of solid American ash is staged by a dark shiplap backdrop with modern low-hanging light fixtures. A cognac leather banquet, comfy seating, and warm brick walls create an inviting atmosphere. In the category of custom furniture design, Richard Higby, Richard Higby Design. Martin Goble, Goble Furniture. Artifox. And the winner is Goble Furniture. The Avic cabinetry line is known for its signature legs, sleek, concave and set into the wood top. The length of the legs, as well as the wood finish, can be customized, further expanding its potential. In the category of dining room, Kelly Johnson and Morgan Brown, Kelly Johnson Design. Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design. Julie Bauer, Bauer Interiors. And the winner is Julie Bauer, Bauer Interiors. Built-in shelves, wainscoting, and a marble mantelpiece provide a strong foundation for the room's elegant design. The grass cloth wall covering, combined with a similar green paint tone, provides a neutral backdrop to the statement chandelier and the owner's existing table and antiques. In the category of foyer, Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design. Jody Spear, Interior Design. Leah Jarrell, 
LJ Interior Designs. And the winner is Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design. Gleaming checkerboard floors, crown molding, and arched double glass doors create an enchanting entry to this new home. An antique walnut cabinet and sculpture are paired with a framed Hermé scarf, which speaks to the homeowner's personal interests and sets the stage for the other rooms in the home. In the category of Great Room, Liz Bassler, Castle Design. Roten Company Architects, Planners, Interiors. Dana Romais, Castle Design. And the winner is Dana Romais, Castle Design. The designer unified the owner's existing collection of mid-century modern Brazilian furniture with neoclassical artwork in a balanced and elegant manner. Smart use of materials, patterns, and colors, such as on the sofa and two armchairs, helped achieve this unique look. In the category of historic residential renovation, Megan Heater, Castle Design. Paul Findler, Findler & Associates Incorporated. Nathan Markway, Markway Construction Company. Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design, Mon Custom Homes, Jeff Day & Associates. Carolyn Kirkhoff, Stonehall Cabinetry, Randy Renner, Period Restoration. And the winner is Megan Heater, Castle Design. Paul Findler, Findler & Associates Incorporated. Nathan Markway, Markway Construction Company. The goal for remodeling this 1927 manor was to update the space for a family while maintaining the home's original character. Restoring the mahogany doors and trim work, stone fireplaces and iron windows immediately gave new life to the house. The designer added signature elements of Scandinavian design including clean, elegant lines to honor the family's Dutch heritage. In the category of home office, Jenny Rausch, Carbic Kitchen and Bath. Ken Stukenschneider, Stukenschneider Decoration and Design. Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design, Mon Custom Homes. And the winner is Jenny Rausch, Carbic Kitchen and Bath. Inspired by a trip to Yellowstone National Park, this home study invokes a state of serenity. The room incorporates textured animal prints, antiques, cozy furs, and Pendleton woolens. Deer painted walls and forest green trim tie create the perfect backdrop. In the category of House of the Year, Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design, Robert Schrote, Schrote & Company, Architects, Planners, Interiors. Megan Temple Design, Robert Schrote, Schrote & Company, Architect, Planners, Interiors, Tom Phillips, Beck Allen Cabinetry. Tamson Massetti, Tamson Design Group, Forney Plus Architecture. And the winner is Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design, Robert Schrote, Schrote and Company Architects, Planners, Interiors. A designer and her husband had dreams of renovating an historic home, but they decided to build a home instead, adding important elements of historic architecture from a brick facade to iron details and interior finishes that hark back to another time, 
by incorporating traditional millwork, arched entryways, and clean-lined furnishings into generous-sized rooms, the team created a classic, elegant home that is also family-friendly. In the category of millwork, Suzanne Tulock Interiors. Janelle Helms, Carbic Kitchen and Bath. Nate Helms, Triumph Construction. Richard Higby Design. And the winner is Suzanne Tulock Interiors. This period style bathroom incorporates a custom wood vanity, tall medicine cabinet, and detailed wainscoting. The room's bold blue hue and crisp lines provide a liveliness to the traditional style millwork and furnishings. In the category of modern bath, greater than 150 square feet. Candace Wideman, Utopia Designs. Janelle Helms, Carbic Kitchen and Bath, Pete Hennessy, Hennessy Development Incorporated, Emily Castle, Castle Design, and the winner is Janelle Helms, Carbic Kitchen and Bath, Pete Hennessy, Hennessy Development Incorporated. The designer transformed this room from a dated 1970s bathroom to a soothing retreat with terracotta floor tile, knotty alder cabinets stained in cognac, and a statement monochromatic backsplash. The mix of green-blue tiles, warm wood, and unlacquered brass fixtures creates a one-of-a-kind design. In the category of modern bath, less than 150 square feet, Shoto Building Group and Ash Leonard Design. Karen Korn and Molly Ryan, Karen Korn Interiors. Julie Abner Interiors. And the winner is Shoto Building Group and Ash Leonard Design. The design team converted an awkward bathroom layout of 45 degree angles and sloped walls into a smart wet room layout. A generously sized shower and water closet are conjoined by a custom floating vanity. Upscale features include a motion sensing footlight, Brooklyn toil wallpaper and art deco lighting. In the category of modern interior design, Susan Bauer, Bauer Leap Design. Jesse D. Miller, Jesse D. Miller Interior Design. Dana Romice and Lauren Sweetshuler, Castle Design. And the winner is Susan Bauer, Bauer Leap Design. Stone walls, large tiles, and cabinet cladding add a natural presence throughout the home's open layout. Expansive cabinetry conceals clutter and complements the minimalist design. Simple furnishings, neutral shades, and soft lighting create a relaxing atmosphere. In the category of modern kitchen, greater than 300 square feet. Studio Lark, Baron Construction. Lauren Sweetshuler, Castle Design, Chris Paul, All Spa Kitchen and Bath. Wendy Kuhn, Carbic Kitchen and Bath. And the winner is Studio Lark, Baron Construction. Vibrant aqua and orange accents add a burst of energy to this fun guesthouse design. The wall-sized window erases the boundary between the outdoors and the interior. 
The room's light fixtures and live edge walnut dining table add just the right statement to this beautiful room. In the category of modern kitchen, less than 300 square feet. James Howard, Ken Henry, All Spa Kitchen and Bath, GG Lombrano Interiors. Joni Spear Interior Design. Joni Spear Interior Design. And the winner is James Howard and Ken Henry, All Spa Kitchen and Bath, GG Lombrano Interiors. This updated kitchen design masters the art of contrast. The zebra wood composite veneer features a two-toned horizontal grain that travels up sprawling 10-foot high cabinetry. The island's waterfall edge extends the quartzite pattern onto a different plane for contrast. Interior lighting, touch activated hinges, and motorized hardware lend modern conveniences. In the category of new build, Derek Hoferlin, Derek Hoferlin Design. Studio Lark Baron Construction. Sroten Company Architects Planners Interiors, The Kemp Homes Company. And the winner is Derek Hoferlin, Derek Hoferlin Design. This live workspace features a futuristic look while also blending into the surrounding city neighborhood. The rectangular layout, steel foundation, and large windows add a contemporary vibe. The property's 4,300 square foot space gives the homeowner plenty of room to create and show his artwork. In the category of powder room, Susan Tulock Interiors. Kelly Johnson and Morgan Brown, Kelly Johnson Design. Megan Heater, Castle Design, Nathan Markway, Markway Construction. And the winner is Kelly Johnson and Morgan Brown, Kelly Johnson Design. Covering a back wall with an antique mirror created depth in an otherwise small space. Silk wallpaper, dark trim, and a black marble vanity complement the black and gold light fixtures. The finished look, a blend of sophistication and tranquility. In the category of primary suite, Christy Knapp, CJ Knapp. Loy LaBeouf, Castle Design. Blea Jurel, LJ Interior Designs. And the winner is Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design. Powder blue walls and soft cream linens reveal a dreamy escape. The chinoiserie panels and a sweeping window seat impart calm. The moldings, tufted upholstered bed, and matching chests add a chic touch. In the category of specialty room, Julie Abner Interiors. Rebecca Murphy, Stonehall Cabinetry, Randy Renner, Period Restoration. Sroten Company Architects, Planners, Interiors. And the winner is Julie Abner Interiors. The lively blend of color and pattern seamlessly join two neighboring rooms. The coral-hued wallpaper and custom cabinets with metal grill facades add interest and warmth. A two-tiered gold chandelier embellishes this bar area with a touch of glamour. 
in the category of traditional bath greater than 150 square feet. Marsha Moore, Marsha Moore Design. Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design. Megan Heater, Castle Design. Bob Burmeister, Mark Christian, Fine Cabinetry. Mark Gordon, MDG Renovations. And the winner is Lori LaBeouf, Castle Design. Inspired by the look of Grand French Hotels, this primary bath embraces delicacy at every corner with rich marble tile, elegant windows, and polished nickel fixtures that make everything sparkle. In the category of traditional bath, less than 150 square feet. Lea Jurel, LJ Interior Designs. Jenny Rapp, JCR Design Group. Liz Bassler, Castle Design, Bob Burmeister, Mark Christian, Fine Cabinetry, Jerry Weiss, Weissworks Construction. And the winner is Jenny Rapp, JCR Design Group. This bathroom has been renovated to create a better flow and can now also accommodate an enlarged shower and freestanding tub. A soft aqua color blends beautifully with the glimmering hardware and polished nickel light fixture. A geometric pattern floor makes a statement in marble. In the category of traditional interior design, Brett Clark, Savvy Design Group. Julie Bauer, Bauer Interiors. Laurie LaBeouf, Castle Design. And the winner is Julie Bauer, Bauer Interiors. The homeowners fell in love with this house despite it needing a lot of TLC. Working with the designer, a large-scale renovation ensued, resulting in a picture-perfect home for a growing family. Doric columns, dental molding, and tall ceilings create a lovely backdrop for prints and paint colors from Quadrille, Schumacher, and Farrow and Ball. In the category of traditional kitchen, less than 300 square feet. Beck Allen Cabinetry, Baron Construction. Megan Heater, Castle Design. Becky Bircher, McMillan Cabinet Makers. Nathan Markway, Markway Construction Company. Caroline Kirkhoff, Stone Hall Cabinetry. Randy Renner, Period Restoration. And the winner is Caroline Kirkhoff, Stone Hall Cabinetry, Randy Renner, Period Restoration. A small kitchen inside an historic home was expanded into a butler's pantry with custom cabinetry that mirrors the home's traditional elegance. A warm, high lacquer green brightens the windowless space, while a black floral wallpaper and interior cabinet lighting creates a dramatic moment. In the category of traditional kitchen, more than 300 square feet. Rebecca Murphy, Stonehall Cabinetry, Randy Renner, Period Restoration. Caroline Kirkhoff, Stonehall Cabinetry, Randy Renner, Period Restoration. Mike Beck, Beck Allen Cabinetry, Rachel Dolan, Mitchell Wall, Architecture and Design. And the winner is Rebecca Murphy, Stonehall Cabinetry, Randy Renner, Period Restoration. Expanding the footprint of the kitchen provided the designers with more creative freedom 
The refrigerator is disguised as an antique furniture piece with brass molding. The sink area is flanked by equal countertop space. Detailed trim and crown molding instantly transforms the range hood into a statement piece. In the category of use of color, Mike Beck, Beck Allen Cabinetry, Rachel Dolan, Mitchell Wall Architecture and Design, Janelle Helms, Carbic Kitchen and Bath, Jesse D. Miller, Jesse D. Miller Interior Design. And the winner is Jesse D. Miller, Jesse D. Miller Interior Design. The lobby of an apartment building was renovated to feature a colorful, swanky new look. The antique bookcases, French armchairs, and Greek sculptures create interest in a room adorned with dental molding. A custom tangerine drapery, saffron sofa, and emerald green walls stand out against the antique mirror. In the category of fabric wall covering, Lori LeBeouf, Castle Design. Suzanne Tulock, Interiors. Jenny Rausch, Carbic Kitchen and Bath. And the winner is Lori LeBeouf, Castle Design. This space merges Kirkwood's historic charm and the owner's distinct coastal style. Purple and white quadrille fabric wall coverings add texture to the custom pastel vanity and glimmering mother of pearl floor. In the category of vacation home, Dana Romice, Castle Design. Ken Stukenschneider, Stukenschneider Decoration and Design. Ken Stukenschneider, Stukenschneider Decoration and Design. And the winner is Dana Romice, Castle Design. This Chicago vacation getaway offers a scenic beach view. The peaceful setting shines against neutral shades, while pops of greens, blues, and pinks play off the changing sights of Lake Michigan. The homeowner's art collection imparts a contemporary flair. In the category of window treatment design, Megan Heater, Castle Design. Bob Burmeister, Mark Christian, Fine Cabinetry, Mark Gordon, MDG Renovations. Gina Dill Tebow, Dill Tebow Design Company. Gina Dill Tebow, Dill Tebow Design Company. And the winner is Megan Heater, Castle Design, Bob Burmeister, Mark Christian Fine Cabinetry, Mark Gordon, MDG Renovations. An arched opening sets the scene for this calming retreat. Balloon shades decorated in a chinoiserie print create a garden-like atmosphere. Sunlight pours through the airy drapes, illuminating the room's pretty palette and magnifying its garden-esque appeal. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Congratulations to the winners and thank you for attending the virtual show. Good night.